everyone, so today I am here to do a K-pop albums collection update video. Mostly because I haven't bought that many albums recently, but my collection has definitely changed since my last video, mostly because I got rid of a lot of albums. Now, I still get attacked on that video, like, 24-7. I've apologized like a hundred times, but I still get attacked every single day for it. I don't know how to say this nicely. <laughs> I got rid of a lot of albums from bands that I no longer follow. So I do not have any albums from GOT7 or BTS or I think that's actually the two that I got rid of. So I don't have any of my GOT7 or BTS albums that I used to have. So mostly because I don't follow them anymore, I don't like them anymore. And I don't have, I know a lot of people are really amazing and they get to buy all of the albums of like every group that they even kind of like. I unfortunately have a lot of books and I prefer buying books over K-pop albums. So I only buy albums of groups that I really, really love and usually I still have to wait a couple of months to be able to just so prices go down and stuff like that. So I only want people or a bands that I am going to collect fully on my shelf, uh, also just for space reasons. So that is why I got rid of quite a few albums. I'm not following those bands anymore as well as I only want my stan groups basically. So I only have four groups here. That's actually lower than I thought it was gonna be. A couple of them haven't changed at all and one is completely new. So I'm going to start with my EXO collection because it is the biggest as well as it hasn't changed that much. It's basically the exact same except for the new album. So I'm just gonna go through those really quick because most people know I have all of EXO's albums. I actually haven't gotten the winter album and the Japanese album, which I don't even think is out technically yet, but I haven't gotten either of those yet. So those are missing. So firstly, I have EXO MAMA EXO M because I prefer the EXO M version of this album in particular. I like the Chinese versions of the songs a lot better. Um, so yes, I have EXO M MAMA. I have the repackaged Growl. Um, also, I don't know if I have to still say this, but Lei is my favorite member of EXO. So I have the, eh, the Chinese edition of Miracles in December. I love Miracles in December so much. It's like low-key one of my favorite albums like ever. I listen to it all year round, but I really like the red over the white, I believe is the Korean version. So but yeah, I think I said this in my last one. I'm really lucky when it comes to EXO. I pull Lay a lot. And when I don't pull Lay, a lot of my friends pull Lay. So I have a lot of Lay photo cards. The next one is the first EXO album I ever bought, and that is EXO Overdose. I bought this in Anime Boston at the K-Pop and USA table. I didn't know what the difference between EXO M and EXO K was at this time. I'd literally gotten into them like a couple days before, so this is an EXO K version. Also, if you guys want a photo card collection, I could make a video of that. I didn't... I don't know if people would be interested because I only collect specific members of specific bands. Like, I don't do a lot with photo cards. The next two albums I have are obviously the best album, Exodus, and I have the Lay covers, of course. I have those. But yeah, so I only collect very specific photo cards. I obviously collect Lay um, for EXO, I and then I'll tell you who I collect in the other groups because we'll get to that. Um, next up we have, of course, the EXO love me right repackage with the iconic photo and then i have the exact album lucky one and monster web these are yeah. there we go i have both editions of this because i'm trash and then i also have the repackaged lotto version um so i have all three of those next up of course i have leia's lose control album i still love this packaging so much i still love this album so much so Whew, I love, I love. And then a new edition is Lay's Sheep album. Oh, this is so funny still. <laughs> I love this. I think it's so cute. And then, of course, I have the EXO Winter Special for 2016. And then I have Lay's cover for Sing For You, obviously. One of my least favorite packagings. And then, of course, for the Japanese albums, I have Lay's L uh, Love Me Right Universe and Lay's Coming Over. Am I the only one who's low-key salty that there's not a Lay cover for the new Japanese album? Because everyone's telling me to get Mom because, like, 
I love mom and I want to support him and he's beautiful, but also it's going to ruin my lay aesthetic. So I don't know what to do. And then we have the three editions of Coco Bot. EXO albums are so like monotone in color and these are such a beautiful like pop of color. I love them so much. So I have all of the Coco Bops. And of course I also have Power or yeah the war power um which i love this i think it's so cute i think it's so fun and then of course i have the couple of cbx albums i have schumann's cover for hey mama and then i have bakyan's cover and the group cover for girls which this is one of my favorite albums i always say people are sleeping on this album it is one of the best ones i can listen to this album on repeat for the rest of my life i don't think i'd get bored it is such a good album and just because it's in japanese i feel like people don't pay attention to it so this is such a good album all right those are all of my exo albums like i said i don't have obviously the japanese album that just came out and i also don't have the winter one which i will be buying i will be buying don't worry all right who shall i go for next let me go for the one that hasn't changed at all <laughs> One of my favorite subunits, or just grouped by themselves if I'm completely honest, is Bass Stars, and I have both of their albums. Both of their albums. Um, I love Bass Stars so much. I really wish they would come out with a new album because I just, I love, I love Bass Stars so much. I don't have any Black B stuff. I do like Black B, but I do like Bass Stars better than Black B. Um, so, I have these, which hasn't changed. And in Bastards, my bias is Yukon, but I actually don't have any Bastards photo cards, so. Alright, and now I'm going to go on to the group that wasn't here at all when I did my summer update. I have liked this group for quite a while, but I only got into them, like, hardcore over the summer. Um, so I didn't have any albums from them, but obviously I bought all of their albums, or almost all of their albums. I don't have any, like, repackaged ones, but I have, like, their OG albums, um, right away. <laughs> and that is Twice. Yep, of course. I love Twice so much. They're, like, my stan girl group. I think they are the cutest people in the entire world, and my bias is Da Hyun, and she is a person that I actually collect the photo cards of because her photo cards are freaking adorable. Um, but yes, this is their first mini album, I believe. The story begins. And their packaging is so, like, yes. Um, like, this one is so freaking cute. This is Twice Coaster Lane 1. I mean, just look at Dahyun right there. She's so cute. Um, I love them so much. They're just adorable. If I could just join Twice, I'd be really happy. And then, of course, I have Twice Coaster Lane 2, which is weirdly oriented and the last one that i have because again i don't think i got any of the repackaged ones is signal oh my god that is so shiny i don't know which version this is but it's the cute version because again dahyan looks adorable dahyan is my actual child i love her so much so yes i got signal so these are all of my twice albums i have four i i haven't gotten likey that's what's missing i haven't gotten likey yet because for some reason it's really expensive i don't know if it's really big or like weirdly packaged or something but i haven't gotten likey yet so that's one that i need to get and now we're going on to a group that i have a story about <laughs> basically i've followed this group since debut i've always loved them a lot but recently as in like over the summer I I don't want to say I fell out of love with EXO because that's completely wrong. I got a little stressed over EXO. I'm just like really sick of the drama as well as I'm sick of, not sick of, but I'm like still really upset that Yuxing isn't in EXO basically anymore. Like I know he's still a part of it, but like he's not in anything and it's really discouraging because he's like my favorite. And while I love all the other boys, I still obviously want my favorite to be there kind of thing. And also, we finally, over the summer, we got news of their military sentences. And I'm pretty sure at least Jin Myun is leaving this year, 2018. And it just makes me really scared because EXO are obviously my favorite group in the entire world. So I almost, like, made myself start sta hardcore standing another group just because I feel like when EXO does inevitably kind of go on a break and they start doing solo activities I'll still have a group to really look forward to um again I already loved these guys enough so it wasn't hard to start start like hardcore standing them and that is of course 17. 
like I said, I have followed Seventeen since debut. Um, my story of them is because of Jung Han. Jung Han is my child. I love him so much and basically I saw a photo of him and his long beautiful hair and I looked him up and I fell in love with him and I fell in love with Seventeen. Um, so I actually don't have that many of their albums. I am waiting on a couple of them. I have bought like two, but they haven't come yet. So I have two more than this, but, um, I obviously got their first album, Boys B, and I really need to complete my collection on them. Like they're, they're a must complete because they're my new, I already stand them, but like more so stan, like same love, level as EXO stan. And yeah, I just think they're adorable. So there's Boys B. Um, I'm gonna save that one for last even though that one comes next, but I have 17 Aju Nice Repackage, um, which is like one of my favorite albums that I own. I just love the aesthetic of it. Oh, I forgot to mention, my biases have changed. Did anyone see it coming? I did. <laughs> I have never been able to keep with biases in 17. They change basically every era. I, I just love all 13 of them so much. Again, I have followed them since debut, so I've just been like... I love all of them. I've gone through a phase with every single one of them, but I think I finally have my solid bias. My bias of the group is Wanu, but I also love Scoops and Mingyu, and I also love Jung Han, but my bias is Wanu, but I also love Scoops, Mingyu, and Jung Han, because I can't not love Jung Han. I feel like it would be just sacrilege if I stopped loving Jung Han as a bias because he's the one who got me into the group, plus it's Jung Han. Um, but yes, Wanu, and then secondary biases, Mingyu, Scoops, Jung Han. Yeah. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> and then I still have my Going 17 album. Those three albums I don't think have changed since the summer, except now I have another one. This came in yesterday. This was like my Christmas present to myself that I didn't know I was going to get because I didn't buy myself anything for Christmas. Um, but then I saw this girl selling this online and I just couldn't not buy it. And that is the 17th first album, Love and Letter, but it's signed. It's signed by Wanu. Oh my God. Yeah, I was just, I couldn't not get it. it I actually needed this album anyways, and it's signed by my favorite member, so I couldn't not buy it. It just, it had to happen kind of thing, so I got it, and I'm so happy I got it. It is on display. It is never leaving my side. I love it. So yeah, this is my first ever signed album, so I'm really excited about it. Those are my 17 albums which I, I'm definitely going to finish this collection, like, ASAP. I believe I have the Orgo Shipti Ana album, AL1. I think I have that one coming, and then I have Teenage, the white version, coming. And then I think I just need, like, two other albums. Am I right on that? Anyways. Anyways, also, with PCs, I collect... I accidentally collect Jung Han. I didn't mean to start collecting him. I was just going to collect Wanu, Mingyu, and Scoops, but I have, like, three Jung Han... PCs already, so I'm collecting Jung Han. <laughs> um, and then Mingyu, Scoops, and Wanu, which is funny because I have managed to get so many Mingyu and Scoops cards for so cheap, but I only have one Wanu. I need to change that. If anyone's selling Jung Han, Mingyu, Scoops, or Wanu cards for really cheap, hit me up. But yes, these are my 17 albums. Hopefully this is a bigger collection by the time I do another one. And those are all of my albums. Like I said, I got rid of quite a handful of, I of albums, so I don't have them anymore to show you. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this collection video. Definitely leave down below who your biases in each group are, what albums you're excited for, what albums you still need to buy, etc, etc. Um, and yeah, just talk to me down in the comments. I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!